A new exhibition in New York City explores identity and social injustice as the artists demand cultural equality in the world of superheroes. CBSN New York's Dave Carlin explains. But you know, there's something lacking in the superhero world. Heroes that look like us. Artist, and author, just, activist, and I educator Aletha Martinez is a comic book veteran, telling art students about her success story that began two decades ago. When I first started, there were no women aside from Amanda Connor, and she was drawing Barbie. I'm the first woman of color to draw a flagship title for both Marvel and DC Comics. Her work is in the Color of Power exhibit at the Caribbean Cultural Center in East Harlem. We need to be represented in comics. The main character characters of her books, Yumi and Ever, are of Mexican and Cuban descent, and the storylines expose political confusion and hypocrisy. Artists of color exhibited here explore identity, social injustice, and threats to the environment. Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez created La Borinquena, whose superpowers are gifts from spirits of her native Puerto Rico, which is also his homeland. Because I wanted to show real Puerto Rican history. An early story saw his La Borinquena saving sea turtles. Later, the character partnered with DC superheroes in the wake of Hurricane Maria. And in this book, La Borinquena teams up with Wonder Woman. She teams up with Superman, and she brings these characters that have been around for 80 years. For the first time ever, she brings them to Puerto Rico. Miranda Rodriguez is a guest curator of this exhibit, showing us panels from Luke Cage and Black Panther from the 1970s, whose works are owned by corporations. But that's not the case for Ronald Wimberly, whose Prince of Cats, a take on Romeo and Juliet, is all his. So he will soon reap the rewards. And it was just announced just a few weeks ago that Spike Lee will be making this into a major motion picture. The students learned their experiences and talents are needed in the comic book industry. Meeting the artists had them feeling inspired. I think they're talented and I want to be like them when I'm older. At 14 years old, Ashlyn Cruz is already an artist storyteller. Mostly it's just me telling my story through characters. So basically it's like another persona for myself through my artwork. So she is a superhero part of a new generation of artists finding the pen mightier than the sword to demand cultural equality through art. In East Harlem, Dave Carlin, CBSN New York.